So one of the key things for us to all do as salespeople is to really be able to listen more effectively and speak less. People always say the salespeople are gift of the gab and they're really good at talking. But invariably, while salespeople can certainly build emotional relationships and connect with their prospects, the reality is the best salespeople use their ears more than they use their mouth. In this video, I'm gonna show you some tips on how you can look to listen more effectively when you engage with a prospect so that you can achieve the results that you want. So when we're in sales, we've got that desire to want to talk and engage and tell the prospect about what we can do. But it's essential that we let them talk and we let them tell us how they're feeling and what they're thinking before we even think around something and talking around what we can do. So the first thing we need to do when we do that is to really listen intently to what the prospect is saying and really try and picture the scenario that they're giving. If you're with someone face to face, try and look them closely in the eye and actually when they're talking about a situation or a problem, try and picture that problem. Maybe they've told you that they've got an issue with something that's caused them strain and stress. Maybe think about how that makes them feel on a Friday evening when they're driving home and the mindset they might have. Try and picture that. And if you do, it's gonna enable you to really listen to the words that they're saying and to the emotion and the tone that comes through from that, which is gonna be key in helping you understand more about them. Listen intently, try and picture the person's thoughts and what's going through their mind, allow them to express themselves, and it's gonna be a big factor in helping you focus on shutting up and listening to what they're saying. One of the other key things it's really important to do when we're trying to listen intently is to remove all other distractions. We know we put the phone on silent, but the flashing of the, the, the lights there show us something's happened. Or we see someone driving past in the window, and we wonder what's going on. Try and focus away from those distractions and only on the person that you're engaging with. Look at them intently, but obviously not in a creepy, difficult way, but really focus and show with your body language that you're listening to what they're saying. And if you're doing that over on the phone, then really focus on actually having that conversation with them on each word they're saying. Try and listen to the tone of the word and the way in which the word has been said and not just the words themselves. If we remove other distractions and really concentrate for that few moments of time, it may even be three to five minutes, we can get so much more from the conversation. We can allow the prospect to talk and it's gonna help them see us as being someone that is a real good listener and not someone that is really just keen just to, to feather their own nest. The best salespeople listen and listen with intent. A final great tip that you can use in order to be able to show that you've been able to listen more is to repeat what's been said back to the prospect. If at the end of a conversation, or maybe even at the end of a series of questions, maybe you can take the habit of saying, Paul, just to clarify what I believe I've listened and heard of you saying is this, 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 and this, and this. Is that correct? Have I captured that correctly? If you do ask that question, the prospect's then gonna say to you, yes, you have, or no, you haven't, and maybe explain what it is they're looking for. But by clarifying specifically what it is they were looking for, and what it is they said, you're gonna be in a position to show that you've been listening, show that you've really focused on the prospect and what they care about, and it's gonna make a big difference when it comes to you, you A, understanding them, but B, them, then their perception of you as a person that's interested in them and not just in what you have to offer yourself. My dad once told me that you have two ears and one mouth, and for, as a salesperson, you have to use them in proportion. And it's so true when it comes to effective selling. Focus on listening with intent to listen to your prospect, not with the intent to reply. Use the tips that I've given you and be in a position where you can help train your mind to really listen and let the words from the prospect engage with you rather than focusing on other things. Give them that dedicated part of their time, whether it's five minutes or 30 minutes, whatever it is, give them dedicated time, listen to them intently, and I can assure you if you do that, it's gonna help you get much better sales results with this prospect and other prospects you work with. So in order to help us control our mindsets when it comes to sales, we've gotta be able to think positively and let our minds control more of what we actually do on a day-to-day -day basis. In order to do that, we need to be able to train our minds. And I've been working with one of the world's leading hypnotherapists, Mark Bowden, who's helped thousands of people all over the world solve issues that they have 
through the power of suggestions and thoughts that go into their subconscious mind. And we've put together a series of sales related materials that you can use to be able to train your mind to get better sales results. Click at the link at the bottom of this video and you can see what marked materials offer you and how you can ensure that if you train your mind to think differently and to handle some of the different situations that come up in sales, I can assure you you're gonna be prepared and it's gonna enable you to get better results.